All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ethan's Custom Lures, and today we're going to be making this lure look like a golden bait fish. So, spring is coming, which means the spawn is coming. And when these bass spawn, other bass and brim are going to be trying to prey on these uh, bait fish. So, we're going to hopefully paint this to look like a bait fish and that these bass will be really hungry and trying to eat this lure. And this bait is actually a bait I've already painted. I did a full color pattern on there, but I didn't like it. And that's one thing that's nice about airbrush paints is if you don't like the pattern, you can take it right off. So if I don't like this pattern and take it back off and try again. All right, guys, the first color we're going to be doing is this opaque white. Um, I like to do this just to make my color stand out. So let's get this first little coat in of opaque white. All right, so this is a pretty solid coat, but I would like it to be just a really perfect white. So we're gonna heat set this and do another coat. All right, guys, let's get this next coat in. All right, guys, so the next color we're going to be using is some pearlized gold. These, all these Art Me paints that I have are all pearlized. And one thing you want to make sure when you're using pearlized paints is to shake the bottle up. Because if not, they will separate the pearl glitter stuff will separate from the actual paint. And you'll just shoot straight glitter out. So um, we're going to focus this probably three quarters of the way down. Just hitting the top and working it down the sides. Because like I said, we're going to be making a golden bait fish. So let's get this coat in. All right, so it is looking pretty good, but these paints are pretty thin, as you can see. So I'm gonna heat set this, and then we'll do another coat. All right, let's get this next coat in. Also, guys, I decided I think I'm going to do the belly uh, gold as well, but I'm going to do it off camera just so I don't bore you guys. All right, so the next color we're going to be using is this pearlized black Createx favorite airbrush paints right here. They're the awesome. They're so good. Um, and I'm going to do this along the back, and I've also got a, a little stencil that I'm going to outline the gill. You can get this Createx paint at Barlow's Tackle, and also you can get this lure blank. I forgot to mention that at the start. You can get both of these at Barlow's Tackle, and then remember, pearlize, so shake it up. So I'm going to clean my airbrush out, and then we'll move on to the All right, black. let's get this black on the back. Just my nozzle. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to heat set it, and we'll do another coat just to darken it up. All right, let's do one more coat. And then we might fade it down size just a tad. All right, so now that we got the black on the back, um, I made this little tiny stencil just a minute ago, uh, just a little piece of paper, and I'm gonna cover this up and basically just spray right on the gill plate. Um, this airbrush really isn't the greatest for doing little tiny uh, details, but I'm going to actually be getting another airbrush in soon. Uh, that's going to be really good. It's going to be my detail brush. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I get it in, I'll be making a really cool review. So let's try and get this black. It's kind of speckly. I don't know why. All right, there we go. I got a little bit on the eye. So what I'm going to do is just darken up the eye just to make... It looked like it wasn't an accident. So we'll do this to the other side. All right, we're going to repeat that step on the other side. I'm going to have to do this left-handed, so who knows how this side will turn out. Oh, I almost just had a catastrophe. All 
All right, there you go. There's that gill. And I don't think that looks too shabby. In my opinion, that looks pretty good. And to match the other side, we will, sorry, I just hit the camera. We will not darken up the eye. I mean, that doesn't look too shabby. In my opinion, that looks pretty decent. Um, I might fix this side and try it again, but. And also one other very important tip to remember is if I just sprayed on this side, when I flip it around, I need to make sure I don't have any black on here because you're gonna stick this on here and then your gill plate will be black. So that's something you need to remember. What I like to do is I just take a damp, like uh, damp paper towel and then I'll just uh, wipe it off. So, and next color we're gonna move on to is the- All right guys, we are on the final color. We have an orange and we have this little tiny thin stencil I made. And what we're going to do is position this just below the uh, gill and to the right. And I'm just going to hit it, hit it, hit it. And I pick it up and we have a perfectly painted orange fin. I'm going to do this to the other side and then we'll catch back. And up. also remember again, this is the side I painted. To do the reverse, I will have to put the orange on that side. So you have to make sure you heat set it, which I've already done. So don't freak out. But we're going to try and position this in the same spot. And we're just going to one, two, three, three. And there we go. Another perfectly painted fin. And now that I'm done with it, I'll be honest. That is the first fin I've ever, or fin set, I've ever painted in mine bait making career so i'm pretty happy with that um that's basically it we'll get some eyes on it we'll get you some final shots thank you for watching i really appreciate it um, make sure to subscribe because we'll have that video coming out and make sure to turn on the notification bell um, what i think we'll do is we'll do a review and unboxing of that uh airbrush that i'm going to be getting and then we might in another video paint a lure only with that airbrush and yeah i'll You'll be seeing it in the future often. It's one of the cheapest ones you can get on Amazon. So I just want to thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.